This video was brought to you by the ILC. Hello there once again, welcome to episode 50. This episode is called Graphs of Exponential Functions. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to figure out what an exponential function is based on a graph given to you. Let's have a look at it. Alright, this question says to create an exponential function based on this graph in front of us. This graph has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1 and passes through the points negative 1, 5 and 0, 3. When you're given a coordinate axis and a graph, you want to start from this framework. y equals a times b raised to the x plus c. Once again, b is going to be the base. Now c is going to be a new term. That's going to represent the asymptote. Now be careful about a. In the previous example it used to be the initial value. However having an asymptote here changes things a little bit. So I'm just going to call this the constant. We'll have to get a, b, and c in order to have created a complete exponential function. I recommend that you start with C, the asymptote, because it's already drawn on the graph for you. It's given to us that this is simply y equals 1, so we already know that C must be 1. That's 1 out of 3 down already. So our function is now y equals a times b raised to the x plus 1. Now we're going to try to get a and b out of the way. And to start, I recommend that you use the point that contains a 0 for x. We know that 0, 3 is part of the graph, so let's let x equal 0 and let y equal 3 and see what happens. So now y becomes 3 equals a times b to the 0 power plus 1. However, we know that b to the 0 is simply 1, because anything to the 0 is 1. If we simplify, we'll have 3 equals 1a plus 1. We simply need to move the 1 to the other side, and we'll get 2 equals 1a, because the 1's cancel out here. Therefore, we know that a is now 2. That's two letters out of 3. Now, let's rewrite the equation with a and c. We'll have y equals a, which is 2, times b to the x, plus c, which is 1. Now we have another point that we have not used yet. Let's use it now and we will let x be the x-coordinate, negative 1, and let y equal 5. And now we'll see what happens and see if we can solve for b. Our equation now says 5 equals 2 times b to the negative first power plus 1. b is our unknown. Let's try to get that by itself first. After that, we'll worry about the negative 1. So we have 2 times b to the negative first plus 1. I would begin by moving the 1 over. 1 and negative 1 cancels out, and we'll have 4 equals 2 times b to the negative 1. We also need to get the 2 out of the way, so we will divide both sides by 2 because 2 is multiplied. The 2 cancels out. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 is equal to b to the negative first. So remember that if you have a negative exponent on the b, you can take the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 2 is simply 1 over 2. And the reciprocal of b to the negative first is simply b to the positive first. 
all we've done is turn the 2 upside down and turn the b to the negative 1 upside down so that our b is 1 half. So let's put all of it together. We have a, we have b, we have c, and so we'll say y equals 2 times 1 half raised to the x plus 1. Here's a, b, and c. And there you have it. There's our exponential function. That's how you start from a graph and end with an exponential function. One final word. There are situations where you're given the function itself and asked to generate a graph. For this, once again, we would start with c. We can say that c is 1, so let's draw an asymptote on the graph, and that will be at y equals 1. The line will not go below this point. Now that we have that, we need to generate two points so that we can draw a graph through them. The easiest point to generate is the one where x equals 0. So let's plug 0 into the equation. y would equal 2 times 1 half raised to the 0 plus 1. 1 half raised to the 0 is simply 1, so we'll have 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 makes 3. So our first point is 0, comma 3. The next easiest point to use is probably going to be x equals 1. In general, if you don't know what points to use, 0 and 1 are great places to start. So we'll let y equal 2 times 1 half raised to the first plus 1. Let's do the math. 2 times 1 half is simply 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1, of course, is 2. So our other point is 1 comma 2. So we'll simply draw a curved line through that. Make sure that it does not touch the dotted line, and then on the other side it will simply go off upward toward infinity. So that is how you start with a function and generate the graph. So now we know how to go both ways, how to start with a graph and get a function, and how to start with a function and get a graph. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next episode.